Hello guys, it's Lee. Hey, it's Saturday morning in the end of July. And I'm gonna talk to you today about my 2011 Stingray 185 LX boat. And I'm showing it to you because it's got a gray stripe on it or silver, matches my truck. So I thought that was cool. Normally do mower videos and small engines, stuff like that. But I thought, well, maybe somebody wants to see this. So I'm just gonna show you about it. And First be thing that. is this trailer, factory trailer, looks great. It's got the swing away tongue. So when this is off and it's sitting in your garage, you pull that pin and this whole tongue gets out of the way. So you can shut the garage door. You got your jack here, just normal trailer stuff. You know, they come with nice wheels on them. No rust at all. Back here, you got a stainless steel prop. You know, other side of the trailer. Like I say, it's silver and white. Matches my truck. I just pulled it out so I hadn't connected all my connections. I'm not going anywhere with it right now, so that's not hooked up. I'll show you over the side. So it is right here, 185 LX. Now this is debatable and maybe somebody will comment in the comment section of exactly what this is. So half of the people tell me it's anchor storage. Okay, so maybe it is. Uh, and then the other half said it could be a cooler. So like right here, it's kind of dirty in there. But right there is a drain hole. Can you see that? There's a drain hole and it comes out right here. So it makes sense if you put an anchor in there and it had water in it, then it's gonna drain out. Um, or if you had a cooler, you could plug that up, use it as a cooler, and then drain it out. Had one comment saying it was a toilet. So maybe maybe it's not that. Outside of it, that's what it looks like. So anyway, of course, you got your two seats. I'm not going to lift the seats up, but they got storage underneath these two seats. Got a place here in the floor. Put water skis and surfboards and all that kind of stuff. Um... And it's got a drain in it that goes out the back. Ventilation here. So on the back side of this, the unique about these stingrays is it's got this big platform, which a lot of boats have that, but for sunbathing or just hanging out. And you got this big platform here for mainly laying out, of course, the engines under here, and we'll look at that in a minute. There's that. Got the bimini top up on it. Now it's got these two captain's chairs that swivel and they slide back and forth. I'm a tall guy, so I got that back further. I might all scoot it up a little bit because the person behind me is not gonna have a whole lot of room. But you got this bench seat here. Good stereo up here. It's got all the gauges at work. You got right there's the interior light. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Interior lights down here at the bottom. Before I get in the boat, it's got bearing buddies right here so you can put grease behind that little plate on there and uh, put grease on your bearings. Of course, back here, you know, you got your ladder. there get your handle hook your um, inner tubes and ski ropes and stuff right here of course you know your gasoline goes here this is part of the ventilation system on each side and on this one you got the uh, you can go up and down with your uh, um, trim this is I'll show you the light but this is your the light pole goes inside this this is so you don't slip and fall right there see how clean that is now this has got carpet in it this is 2011 you know they started getting away from carpet so i don't know why it has carpet but a lot of them have floors like what that is but but it looks a little good. tip on these boats. If you are looking to buy a boat and you don't know what year it is, I'm gonna show you how to tell. Right side of this boat. I'm gonna show you the VIN number. See the last two digits right here? 11 
2011. Every boat's that way. I think way long time ago, the older boats maybe weren't. But that's pretty much standard. If you're looking at a boat, 2011. Side the boat right now, and we'll look under this seat. Got a camera in one hand, so it's hard for me to do this. All right, here it is. This is storage. Life jackets, bumpers, stuff like that. And I'm gonna lift this up. So right here is your handle for the engine cover. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. So I lifted that up. It's 3.0, four cylinder. These get great gas mileage. It's 135 horse. You do have power steering on this. And that bimini top, this bimini top, it actually goes right there with those straps, which seems odd to me because it's right beside the motor, but whatever. You got your battery. Looks good. Seeing the seats, you yeah, know, they're nice. They got the little emblem on it. Let's see, let me sit down. So this steering wheel is tilt with that. Um, I'm gonna show you the hours on this one. Uh, here it is. 170, can you see that? 170 hours. But, you know, fuel, trim, battery, temperature, oil pressure. I'm not gonna start it right now. That's accessory button for the stereo. Glove box, handle. You saw that up there. Throttle control. I don't know, that is, really, I don't know what else you'd wanna see on a boat like this, but if I take it out to the lake today, I'll take you along with me. It's starting to cloud up a little bit. A little slight chance of rain and big chance of rain tomorrow, so I don't know if we'll end up going or not. But if we do, I'll take you with us, and if we don't, this will probably be close to the end of the video. But uh, I figured, well, I have this out here. I at least wanted to show it to you. That's it. Millie's playing ball.